graduated nursing school. Y'all, I am a BSN Betty. So, how did I pass my exit exam? Oh my gosh. With NGN. Yes, the new generation exit exam. But the thing is, y'all, we took the, it was called the RN Predictor 2019 with NGN. So, I know April 1st, they started with the NGN, so I don't know how many NGNs y'all gonna get. But I got about six NGNs on my test. Um, and then the rest was just like normal questions. But... Our teacher gave us like a thousand questions a week. So she was just getting us familiar with questions, questions, questions. When you think about it, you've like this is the end of nursing school. So you've learned all of the disorders and things like that. So it should be fresh in your head. I mean, if not, then you just kind of like um, review on it. So she did that in class. She did a little review on like some of the um, like some of the, some of the disorders and just, you know, things like that. Um, so we did get this pink book. So, you know. <laughs> When you get this pink book, you know it's real. You know nursing school is over. Again, y'all already know that I am very a, a, a sticky note girly. You feel me? Like, I sticky note a couple of pages, you know? So, um, did I read this book? In the beginning, I was reading it. I was going over it before going to class. Well, I will try to go over it before going to class. But I honestly was like, you know, going through it, I was, um doing nursing simple nursing i was doing simple nursing but to be honest with y'all i mean the book is cool especially when it comes to farm but questions learning dynamic questions just doing questions cat exams do cat exams like do the cats so um yeah i was in this book in the beginning i mean i kind of like skimmed through it um what I also did was I went back to my previous proctors that I took. So, like, when you go into, let me see. I'm actually going to see if I can get into ATI. Go into ATI. You're going to go to results. You'll see your probability of passing NCLEX. And it'll give you a score. And then you'll see all your proctor exams pop up. So, these are all your proctor exams that you took in nursing school. You'll see, like, pharmacology give you your score. And then it'll give you your level and things like that. So, I kind of just went over these especially the ones that I were, was at risk for. So you'll go up to here, um, you'll click your um, pulse. Yeah, so back into the results area, um, you can go to your previous proctors that you've taken. And I just went over the focus reviews. So I did that. Then you will be taking your, like, um, I want to say it will be your proctor comprehensive assessments. Like, it will be say, it will say, like, my R, R said RNATI proctor um comprehensive exam 2019 b a and b so you do those in class or whenever and look at those focus reviews because it'll tell you which ones that you've gotten wrong um and which you need to focus on and then just continue taking those those tests um and do learning systems and you should be fine just get familiar with those tests or those questions and also, what really helped me, I was on, what is his name? Mark Clement? Yeah, Mark K. Um, his lecture, lecture 12 was really good. Um, I listened to that. Going into your test, just like take it as if you're, you're doing another proctor exam. Like this is just another proctor exam that I'm doing. Don't stress out. I'm telling you, don't let the ner your nerves get to you. Just relax. Like when you walk in, that door just just relax and you should be fine don't really worry about the new ngn questions because honestly those might be the easiest questions to get to me i feel like they were easier to be honest with you i felt like ngn questions are they give you a lot of information um they give you a lot of information and the answer is kind of like right in your face. The only thing I don't like is those bow ties. Now those bow ties, we be wanting to squabble because ain't no way. Like, why? Are, no, I should not be trying to figure out the diagnosis of this patient. Like, no, that is not for me. That is for the doctor. I am the nurse, you know. But anyway, um, it wasn't bad. You do get the partial credits, but just relax. Take it 
take it a question at a time you get four hours take the four hours what don't we don't care what the other people talking about nobody shouldn't be taking four hours to take their test it maybe take four hours okay if you want to take three minutes on one question do that <laughs> you got four hours for 180 questions you know make sure you looking at the time though don't spend too much time on your questions but pick a question or pick a question pick the answer move on don't be sitting there like picking and be like oh shoot nah that don't sound right once you pick it go with your gut feeling that's that move on to the next one i passed my exit exam with a 94 percent that was on capstone so it was like 94 out of a hundred i guess i don't know how the the grading worked but i got a 94 percent y'all my camera just be dying but anyway they had a little trick so after you take your exam you will go back on ati to see if your pulse moves so if some people's pulse started at 88 percent and it moved to a 99 percent then you passed my pulse was already at a 90 percent and that shit didn't move for about two hours but I believe your pulse needs to be at a 92% in order to know that you passed your exit exam. Yeah, so if your pulse is like at a 90, which my shit was sitting at a 90, that would have meant I didn't pass. But if it moved up at least to 92%, then you passed. Um, if your pulse was like at a 90 and it moved down, then supposedly you didn't pass. But you guys will be fine, just relax. If I passed, y'all can too. Just take it easy. You know, study hard as much as you can. And that's that. And I hope this was helpful. Sorry y'all wasn't a lot. But you guys got it. And yeah, thank you for watching.